we come out here to the power stands and I show you my 29ers on this high e-bike. Hello, mountain bike friends. Today we are going to talk about Envy Composite's latest carbon mountain bike wheel offering and what makes them quite a bit different than Envy's previous carbon wheel offerings. And we're going to put them back to back against aluminum wheels with three average riders, same bike, same trail, and see if they can tell the difference between these things and aluminum wheels. So let's dive into it. Well, I don't think Envy Composites needs any introduction. They have been one of the absolute leaders in the carbon wheel space and carbon parts of all kinds made in the US for the last like 15 plus years. Um, what they're trying to do with the AM30s is really make like a leading class wheel set under $2,000. So these things come in at $1,600 and they're kind of like the common man's carbon wheel set. Um, so it's a bit different than what they've historically done. They've pretty much only ever played in that really, really high-end premium segment of carbon wheels being over 2,500 bucks. So coming in at 1,600, um, pretty significant difference. And this setup is a bit different than their stuff historically. So their M-series wheels, one of the things that, you know, has always kind of like piqued my interest on those M-series wheels when I've ridden them in the past. They're very stiff, like just fast, springy, energetic wheel. They wanted to go a little bit more compliant, um, but one of the main differences just from a mechanic friendly standpoint that I absolutely love, the M-series had internal nipples. These have external nipples, so much more mechanic friendly. I really do appreciate nipples being external and not internal. I can't, I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. So other differences between these and uh, Envy's uh, M series wheels, these kind of slot right in between their M6 series and M7 series. So M6 would be like your light trail bike and your M7 series would be like your enduro bike. Um, the AM 30s kind of, kind of cover right, you know, half and half between both of those things. So it's a 30 mil internal width rim, which is becoming kind of the most common and the standard, which is what it seems like for like what most people do when it comes to like trail slash enduro riding. Um, and these actually fill the gap right between the two in terms of weight. So they used to offer the M630 with the Industry 9 one-to-one -one hubs. Um, I don't think they do any more, but that's what the AM 30s come with, Industry 9 one-to-one -one hubs. Huge fan of everything Industry 9 makes, especially their hubs. That's kind of like their core business and their core component that they're really good at. Um, so the AM30s weigh 1852 in a 29 inch wheel set with these one-to-one -one hubs. The M630s are 1648 and the M730s are 2081. So these kind of fall right in between there in terms of weight um, and also for their intended use, which kind of makes a lot of sense because most of what people are doing these days on mountain bikes is a trail slash enduro riding, I would say, um, at least most of the people that watch this channel as well. So um, what else kind of makes these wheels cool and unique from Envy? So they're still doing, you know, what they designed a while ago, which is that um, basically the, the rim wall is quite thick. Um, you could see sort of an image of that right here. The idea there is when you hit that thing on a rock, there's more weight distribution, so it's better at, pre at preventing pinch flats and tearing the sidewall of the tire. Um, seems to work pretty good. I mean, tires these days are pretty durable, and carbon wheels, even when you ding them, seem to like not trash tires too much anymore. Um, again, I think carbon wheels, when it comes to durability, that topic has really changed over the years. Um, just about two years ago, I made a video on YouTube where I talked about why I don't prefer to ride carbon wheels. A lot of people didn't watch the whole thing and just kind of commented too quickly or made too many assumptions. Boy, that escalated quickly. 
Um, I love the feeling of carbon wheels. They are energetic and fast, and when you pump your bike into a corner or a G out, like nothing beats that energetic feeling of a carbon wheel. And Envy's kind of like super well known for that, and the AM30s are no different. They're probably a little bit less energetic than the six in the M series, but um, more compliant too, which is another thing that carbon wheels have changed to because they realize it might be a little too stiff when it gets really rocky and bumpy. But Carbon wheels of all kinds have got a lot stronger and the warranty and crash replacement on these things has really changed over the years. Um, everything Envy makes, USA made carbon rims, these are no different even though they're in a totally different price point than their M series stuff. And they still have their lifetime, I guess they call it like an incident protection thing and then a five year warranty. So uh, more details below on our blog all about these things if you wanna dig into sort of what they offer you if you do somehow destroy one of these things. But in terms of durability, um, um, I haven't been able to break a carbon rim in several years at this point. So I, I did several, several years ago, but recently I can't seem to do it. They seem to be pretty much bulletproof, at least for me. And I think for 98% of riders that I've ever come across in my entire life are gonna love carbon wheels and they're gonna make their bike feel really nice and be a great upgrade. 2% of people that really ride hard and are notorious for dinging their aluminum rims should probably avoid carbon um, just cause the natures of it. But again, that's 2% of people. So if you don't, if you haven't dinged a ton of aluminum rims in your life, um, you'd probably love carbon wheel upgrade, which is the vast majority of riders. So anyways, to talk more on durability of these things, Liam has been riding these for three months and just doing his absolute best to destroy and trash them and test them. And he can tell you a little bit about how they feel and how strong they are. All right, so Jeff mentions the dirt of these wheels, but first I want to touch on the ride feel. Dirt ability, ride feel, more dirt ability. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. They definitely um, took some time and tried to engineer some more uh, compliance on the AM30s. And you can definitely feel on the trail, they're not quite as stiff as the classic M Series Envies. Um, so it definitely feels nice, but they still feel like carbon wheels. They're still stiff, they're still snappy. Um, and they, you know, feel like a great upgrade when you put them on your bike. Their durability on them has been really solid. I've been on them for three months now, just smashing them all over the place on my big bike, everywhere from Big Bear to shuttle trails. And I've definitely smashed them on um, a handful of occasions on some rocks, a few where I stopped and made sure I didn't break them on the spot because it, you know, I pinged them so loud it sounded really bad. But there's not a scratch on them. Neither Jeff or I has been able to um, even scratch them or cause any damage to these over riding them last three months so the durability is solid i don't think anyone's really going to have an issue if they're riding within their means um you know for what these wheels are meant for a trail you know enduro riding Well, enough with the details and specs of these things. They're awesome carbon wheels. There's tons of them out there. Something we really enjoy doing is putting um, products back to back on the same trail, same bike, same rider, and getting their opinions and trying to do it with average mountain bikers. So it's uh, it's typically our staff or our local friends here um, from our shop in SoCal. And that's what we're gonna do with these things and see if those guys can actually you know, be on the same bike, all the sort of variables the same and ride their current aluminum wheels versus these things. Just hear what they think. It's always interesting to do. If you've made it this far in the video, you're probably very interested in carbon wheels and maybe considering that upgrade. So this is from some pretty valuable stuff to see like what the average mountain biker, uh, what they sort of see and feel when they test new stuff, especially carbon wheels. And we also threw in a little uh, comedy segment for you as well that you're really gonna enjoy and get a lot of laughter out of. All right, hi, my name is Bubba. People call me Bubba Nasty out on the trail because I rip it and grip it. But here we are testing uh, some wheels. Early I rode some uh, DTS alloys, stockers. And you know what, they were smooth. They were great, stock. And then we go to the uh, NV AMS 30s, carbons. And man, they're noisy, sons of bitches. All right, here we are testing out some carbon wheels, 29ers. They're noisy. Yep, them carbons are noisy. So, I don't know, they're light, they're powerful. 
We're out here, skitters are the same. Jumping, I don't know, I float a little bit better with the carbons, I think. Besides that, I don't know. I think both wheels are all around good, planted solid round wheel. They're round and they roll. Check her out. Easy, buddy, easy, buddy. What the hell was that? Hey guys, Chance Ely here. Uh, I'm out here on trail testing out the DT Swiss and AM30 Envy wheels. Um, currently on a Revel Rascal, which I ran the stock DT Swiss uh, wheels first run, um, and then AM30s next. Felt that I really liked the AM30s a little bit more. Um, seemed like they were a little bit stiffer. Felt in cornering it was a little bit better um, as far as stiffness, because I prefer that. Um, but overall, actually, even in the rough stuff, it felt like there was a lot more like compliance up and down, I guess you would say, to where it made the on-trail feel, feel really good. Um, I'm really excited to try more, get a better kind of understanding on some more chunky trails. Um, but overall, I'm really liking the Envies. All right, hey guys, my name is Colin Reed. Uh, we're out on the trail today doing a little bit of back-to-back -back testing. Um, the bike that I normally ride is the Yeti SB150. I absolutely love that thing. Uh, but today we're testing some wheels. So my first run was with some DT Swiss aluminum wheels, great wheels. The second run was with some Envy AM30s. So a couple of differences that I noticed right off the bat, the Envy's felt like they were a little bit more compliant vertically. So it kind of cut out a little bit of the trail chatter that you might feel, you know, you get some of those rocks and uh, chunky bits on that trail. And the, the Envy's just felt like they're a little more compliant, a little bit smoother. Um, that's not to say that the DT Swiss were rough or anything like that. Another thing that I noticed is that in the cornering, the, the Envy's felt just a little bit better. Um, it felt like they were a little stiffer, which meant that I could push through the turn a little bit better. It's not like I was going a million miles an hour, but I could kind of notice it right off the bat. Um, the DT Swiss felt a little heavier. Um, I mean, they're aluminum, so it's kind of what you expect. And the other thing that I noticed that I wasn't really expecting is that when you're really putting the power down on the DT Swiss, uh, and that chain is getting tense and it puts uh, some tension on the spokes, it's loud and you hear that kind of reverberation from the spokes. But the Envy's, I think because they're carbon, is a little bit quieter. So when you like really crank on those pedals, um, you don't hear that like twanging noise quite as much. And I know that's not like a performance indicator or anything like that, but you know, they say a quiet bike is a fast bike, and personally, I don't really like it when my bike is loud, so it was nice having the, the slightly quieter wheel set on my bike. Well, there you have it. I hope that was valuable for you. What the hell did I just say? Valuable? I meant to say valuable. Well, there you have it. I hope that was valuable for you guys and gave you some context on Envy's latest mountain bike wheel set and uh, USA made carbon stuff and the differences between aluminum and carbon wheels when you actually get out there and ride the thing on the trail. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do. Uh, we would love if you did. We post a lot of cool mountain bike content here on YouTube and Instagram and we'll see you guys in the next one.